This, I've, I've just walked from the path to that bridge, the other side of that bridge, from that bridge to here, from here to here. I've not got anywhere and I've already wanted to take another picture because this is flipping amazing. Good morning, hello, uh, welcome. Uh, and as you can see, I'm sitting in a vehicle that's got white leather seats. Now you may recognize this vehicle because I'm sure I was in it back in the Yorkshire Dales. Um, I'm out with um, one of my Scottish friends because I'm in Sc Southern Scotland. Um, I'm, he's taking me on a ferry, taking me on a ferry. I'm out with Craig and uh, he said, I'll tell you what, he said, dump the van. He said, I'll come and meet you because I was parked roughly where he lives. And he said, I'll pick you up in the car tomorrow. We'll leave the van there. We'll take the car. He's going to take me over to Dunoon. Um, I've not been over there before. Um, so he's just jumped out to get some ferry tickets. And uh, yeah, he's going to take me on the ferry. We're heading over to Danoon, and he's, I think it's a waterfall walk. I think he's going to take me on some waterfalls. So yeah, join me on this one. I have no idea what to expect. I'm excited because it's a new location and I'm doubly excited because I'm getting on a little ferry. So it's got to be exciting, hasn't it? Let's face it. We're going on a ferry and we're doing waterfalls in a location I've never been to before. What's better than that? Well, that's it. We are on the little ferry. Uh, this is only a little ferry. It's like the little uh, column ferry, uh, maybe slightly longer and wider. Um, but yeah, we are definitely on board a boat. So. Let's get going. Just like normal, it's going to be a grey one, definitely grey wet and windy and uh, we are definitely heading into some seriously yucky looking weather but it's waterfalls it shouldn't make any difference whatsoever there's a cool little boat there's toilets on there there's a little inside seating area as well if you want to keep warm and dry but yeah i like this and the fact that you can actually stand right at the back of the boat is pretty awesome to be honest two inches from the sea So when in Scotland, square sausage. Sausage and egg button. Oh yes. Been pronunciation right. There's a good word for you, and I. This is actually a Roland sausage, anyone from Scotland. So yeah, you don't have to put me right, I've just been put right. <laughs> Depends how steep it is, isn't it? <laughs> uh, get you out of breath. Well, if you want to get out of breath, we'll go that way. I don't yeah. particularly want to get out of breath. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's hard work, isn't it? Yeah. So we are here, we are just uh, gearing ourselves up. We're at Pox Glen. That's where he's brought me to. Never heard of it. Apparently we've got waterfalls, we've got two choices of walk. One up the very steep bit, or one up the Miranda in slower bit. Miranda in slower bit it is. So, waterproofs on because of course it's uh, that fantastically beautiful Scottish weather that we all love to hate. Rain, drizzle. So, jobs are good. I mean, if it starts raining too much today though, I think I'm gonna put my waterproofs on, but we are under the canopy of uh, the woodland, so let's see what we got to find. At the start of our little walk, this is a little Pucks Glen walk, um, and this is what we're here to see, little stuff like this. These meandering little rivers and little waters and cascades and things, and uh, the path is just basically going to follow us up on the side of it, and it's going to go up, right up over the top through these big, massive, great big uh, pine trees. Um, can't beat the Scots pines, they're huge. And just the walk in here just now, I wish I'd have done a little bit of B-roll to be honest, just the walk in here just now has just really sent me in a, a different sort of headspace, you know, with these, the way the, the, the ground sort of look is lifted up and all, you've got these lines where the earth was obviously opened up once upon a time, million years ago, and then you've got these massive trees all around us, which are just phenomenal. So yeah, that's the start of our walk. Let's have a look and see what we can find. And um, I think it's going to be pretty all the way. 
Already I'm loving this place. This is proper fairy tale stuff, this is. And I've only walked 10 yards up the path. I just look at the little bridge and the waterfall and the cascades leading behind it. I think, I've taken a photograph from the bridge back there where we started, but I think this, to me, is quite quintessential woodland. It's really pretty, this is. So I'm going to have a shot here, and I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be taking quite a few. Now, I'll try on the odd handheld one, but if I need to get the tripod out, I will. But once it's out, I'm going to keep it out. But this is really pretty in front. So I've already taken half a dozen photographs already, and I haven't even got across this little bridge yet. So <laughs> I think I think I'm going to end up with a lot of photographs. But hey ho, this is a really pretty little place, very very mysterious, mysterious, mystical, um, and just the start of the walk is just pretty cool. Really, is pretty cool. This is what I was on about about the rocks, the formation of the rocks. Look at that over my shoulder. That you can see has just been broken out of the ground and gorged its way up absolutely amazing what a little location gem this is and this oh my word gavin harcastle if you were here now you would be having babies this is your sort of photograph this is amazing i'm going to make a meal of this one well we've walked not even 100 yards this i've, I've just walked from the path to that bridge the other side of that bridge, from that bridge to here, from here to here, I've not got anywhere and I've already wanted to take another picture because this is flipping amazing. Just, just look at what's going on here. We've got this big fallen tree giving you a beautiful arch over the top. You've got this little cascade coming down off the top. You've got this zigzag bridge. I mean, wow, wow, wow. This is an amazing little place. And Craig was saying that it's very, it's not photographed enough. This is stunning, absolutely stunning. And I must admit, the conditions, even though it's drizzly, I think it's not bad. We do have a little bit, maybe a little bit of mist or something drifting through, but because you've got this sort of softened light, it just looks fantastic. Look at the way the light's reflecting off the side here and then it's dark over this side. And this little cascade is just awesome. So you're going to get a long video today and you're going to get lots of photographs. So I've just swapped my lenses over. I've just done a panoramic of this scene in front of me, but I think the wide angle is definitely going to be the way to go because I can get a lot more in um, and it's it's an interesting sort of form getting the wide angle on because it stretches everything a little bit more but yeah what a fantastic fantastic scene in front of us absolutely gorgeous I'm hoping the wide angle is going to work uh, the reason being is because I don't want to keep swapping lenses because the moisture around here is quite harsh so uh, I'm flicking in between I'm at ISO 640 at the moment at f8 because I want to try and keep the shutter speeds down a little bit but it's really dark in here I don't want to up the ISO too much because I'm on the X-T5 and it's not the best dynamic range it's not a full frame camera so you lose a little bit in that dynamic range which is such a shame because this is the times where I miss having my full frame when you can get higher ISOs to slow the shutter speeds down a little bit but that is pretty and I think when I make it that sort of bit more mysterious looking and darker and moodier, it's going to work beautifully. Wow, what a place. coming up to another little bridge and some more cascades coming under and the way the the rocks fallen down is uh, quite something to see to be honest but I just don't I just, you know where I, I know I'm now starting to get myself into this state of like I'm seeing all of it but I'm not getting bits of it uh, I'm taking lots of pictures and I'm probably like them when I get back to the photo you know when I start editing them and stuff like that but it, to the eye it's just wow 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 everywhere but 
to, to home that in on a single shot. Like up there, I've just noticed a little tree with a spiral bit of moss around it. But yeah, to hone this in onto to single photographs is quite difficult, very much a challenge. And I take my hat off to anyone that's good at stuff like this. Wow, this is impressive. But look at this piece of rock, man, this is mental. This just goes on and on and on. Wowzers. There's this big shard of rock that's obviously come down off the hills at some point. I just don't know where to look. Everywhere you look is another image. I'm not one for shooting down the river, but even that looks good. But look at this glow on the rocks and the glow on the moss. Everything's covered in moss. Oh, it's fantastic. So I'm not going to lie, conditions are definitely turning to the worst. It's getting very, very wet and rainy now. It's absolutely peeing it down. You can probably see by my hat that I'm totally, totally drenched. I've got my bag on. I'm trying to shoot with a bag and a lens cap. I'm keeping the Osmo covered up. But I'm in a little cove at the moment. It's got very, very dark all of a sudden. But this little cove is my favourite so far. If you look on the image, on the top left-hand side of the image, there's this tree that's growing out, this big lump of rock that's obviously fallen off. And I'll put a circle around it so you can see on the image. And I'll put the image on the side so you can have a look and see what I'm talking about. But this tree is a really ornate looking tree and I absolutely love it. Now I know the image has got these diagonal lines of the fallen trees, but where they're covered in moss, I think they really do blend in. Um, or at least not so much blend in because they do stand out, don't they? But they blend into the scenery because they've got the green moss on them. They're not fresh, they've been there a long time. But what an absolutely amazing place this is. Absolutely one of my favorite locations. I'm ticking this on the box of my top locations. This is stunning. And this tree up in front, beautiful. And to be honest, as much as it's really, really hard shooting with a bag over the top and trying to keep everything sort of not dry, but sort of water spotless, um, the conditions are perfect for this because it's making everything so rich, so saturated, so green, so vibrant. And the polarizer is just punching out those colors. I don't think you can get any better than this, but the image is very, um, the images are going to be still very, very dark and moody because the shadow detail is so darkly shadow detail and the white from the water, the wash, is so white, it's really hard to balance those two to make it look sort of natural. So these are probably going to end up quite dark, but I'm hoping I'm going to be putting a mysterious look on them because this image I've just shot, absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. Got such, such a feel about it. This just keeps giving and giving and giving. Look at these rocks. Oh, wow. Right, it's like another shot coming up. We'll move around a little bit further, come around the glen, just had that little pool of water back there, come up the steps, got myself a selfie with me in it. This is like um, Wyming Brook or Wyming Brook uh, in the Peak District, but on super steroids. <laughs> this is bonkersly insane it's so pretty now what's caught my eyes is a huge huge pine tree above my head and the roots are wrapping down over this rock and wrapping around the bottom almost coming to get me at the bottom here and i just love these big roots that are sort of leading you up from the right hand side i've got the river stream brook leading you up from the left hand side and the pathway up the middle i think it makes for a very very nice image the polarizer is full on mr maven polarizers if I flick you around you can just see the nice bright blue one on the front of the lens just there and it makes a lot of difference when you're using that 
it really does make a lot of difference and I love these Maven polarizers they are very very nice and my camera's just decided to turn itself off no it hasn't got water droplet on the back of the screen so let's get this one shot f8 ISO whatever it is shutter speed whatever it is <laughs> I'm not even really bothered as long as they look nice I don't care I'm not going to put too much effort into it you can put too much thinking and thought into these images and uh, spoil the fun of it so I'm just taking them and enjoying them oh one second was a standard walked up the steps and took a picture of Craig down in the bottom down there uh, some steps leading you up and over and I've just come around this bend and uh, I've just seen another little hidden gem look at that a nice little arch bridge up there so I'll take it we're going to walk down this pathway now follow the glen up wow 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 <laughs> I can't believe this place can't believe this place Craig just said it's you know it's a right secret hidden gem but now you've seen my video it's not so secret anymore is it so I would like to mention a couple of things as well. I've got a Patreon and a donation page now available uh, for people that want to help support the channel or help support me and the channel. Um, yeah, my Patreon is well worth looking at. I do do a few little extra things that you wouldn't get on the normal channel. I've got the odd video that I don't ever get to put out and make the light of day, so I put them on there. I've also tell a few stories of where I am and what I'm doing and some little phone clips and things like I've just done one down the bottom there telling people exactly where I am and what I'm up to and they get early bird stuff you know they can get to see this and uh, find out where I am and also contribute to the fact that they can ask me and tell me where to go and give me places and locations and things and I'll do my best to actually uh, find some of these places for you um, but yeah if you are interested in supporting me please take a look at the patreon page it goes a long way to helping me afford to do the things I enjoy doing and bringing more and more content to you from more and more different locations So this does just keep going and going and going. Just come up onto another quite big impressive waterfall and the view behind and the trees and the rocks and the, the gorge and everything. And I've just been meandering my way up and uh, just enjoying it really, looking at the bridge, taking pictures and just, it's amazing, it really is amazing.
so this place is absolutely gorgeous but it's starting to level off a bit now and uh, the pathways are not quite or well, the waterfalls are not quite as impressive you're not getting that bigger big bouldery overhang like you did before but it's still pretty it's still gorgeous to walk up the side off there might be a little bit more further up but I remember Craig saying that we came in the other way last time and I'm glad we came in this way because you get all that wow factor as you come up through if you come in the other way you're walking downstream and downstream isn't quite as impressive it's better walking around the corner and seeing a waterfall in front of you rather than sort of walking over the top of it so yeah definitely if you come in this way come to the come to the car parking space go left and walk your way up that way rather than going right and going that way but yeah impressed I am so no sooner have I said it's coming to the end we get another bridge cascade and a boulder <laughs> this is actually quite pretty Craig's Tone and it's a lovely cascade through here very very nice to look at got the water running underneath the bridge just here and running down and coming through the rocks and the chasms and the, the gorge and everything it's really nice to look at but it's impossible to take a photograph of that it's very messy very busy you can see all the twigs and sticks and branches everywhere it just doesn't make a nice picture when it's like that but we are near the top now up to the final little bridge and then we've got the steep ascent down or descent down um, so we're going to get the old stick out and probably put the camera away but yeah that's a really really nice walk and you can see how much this just sort of sends itself down into the hills really pretty really enjoyed that that was so much fun and something different I've just been to the Faroe Islands for a few days and I expect you've already seen the videos and uh, it was very grey and I'm sort of mooching around South Scotland and it's very grey and this is very rich, very green, very vibrant, very colourful, and very pretty. And it's not over yet by the looks of it, it's still waterfall after waterfall after waterfall. <laughs> but we are at the top, and there's another one I can see in the bushes up there, so let's see if we can get one more shot, and uh, we'll call it a day there. So I've got quite a nice scene set up in front of me now um, and I've just taken the lens cap off the uh, front of the camera and the, the, mist, the lens, lens has misted up a little bit and it's adding a little bit of a, an eerie tinge to the bright parts it's sort of making it look a bit fog-like and misty-like which is pretty good uh, I'll help to clean the lens really but I'm not going to bother but this is all about the ferns and the mosses growing on all the trees uh, it looks really really pretty very very green quite a busy image but just look at it and study it. You've just got green moss growing everywhere and all the fallen trees have got moss growing on them and all the little branches have got moss growing on them. And you've got this little river that's meandering through the middle of the image. And I just think the whole scene itself looks quite nice. So I'm not going without taking it. Osmo is down to really next to nothing and it's about to die so I am actually going to end the video right here right now I'm going to take one more shot of this just in case the scene changes at all um, but yeah thank you for watching please don't forget like and subscribe give us a thumbs up it really means a lot and helps the algorithms uh, drop me a comment I'd love to know your comments about places and locations and if you know anywhere like this that you think I'd enjoy please let me know and there's a robin on the tree the robins follow me around a lot I see robins everywhere I go and I always say that that's my nan keeping an eye on me and there's a robin right in front of me um, I'm not going to try and film it because it's too small, but amazing. There's always a little robin in a view somewhere for me. Uh, my Osmo is extremely low on power and is about to die. Uh, we've just come up the top now. We're up on this stone path on this big walkway. Uh, we're up at the top of the, 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 top of the trail. Um, there is a signpost saying caution. 
be cautious if you're walking on this one it can be slippy and tricky and you don't want to be falling in it's going to hurt you quite badly if you do because it's very sharp and raggedy and jaggedy so yeah i just want to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you know of any locations like this that you might think i'll enjoy anywhere in the uk in fact anywhere in the world i don't mind um but definitely in the uk i will try and check them out and i'll always make a note of them on my map and pin them uh, i want to thank my patrons as well i'm going to start I've, I've, i have started a patreon page off a few weeks ago so yes anyone that has joined my patreon thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart it does help me get out and do things and any contribution is a big support for my channel really is um that's it time to go i need some food i've got a grumbly tummy and i definitely need a cup of coffee so I don't know how far it is back down to Craig's car. And I don't even know where Craig is. He was around here somewhere just now. So I need to find him. I'll give him a shout on the radio. Till next time, ciao for now. See you soon. And I do hope you've enjoyed that as much as I did. It was a buzz. Thoroughly, 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 thoroughly enjoyed it. Tell her.